Hey everyone, welcome to Meeple Bits. Thanks for joining me today. In today's episode of Tabletop Simulator, we're going to go through the game Terraforming Mars. This is a community created mod for uh, Tabletop Simulator, so it is available on the Steam Workshop. As always, links will be available in the description below. This one is titled Terraforming Mars with Custom Hexes Scripted, authored by user Puddle White. So we're going to go through this version of tabletops or uh, this version of terraforming Mars so that we can understand what is scripted, what's done for you, what's automated, and then what you as the gamers and players are going to need to control and manage on your own. So stay tuned as we dive in. Hey everyone, welcome back to this version of tabletop simulator and terraforming Mars. I'm joined here by my table mate, and we're going to dive in and show you guys what's scripted, what's done for you, and then, um, you know, maybe take uh, just, a, I guess, some light turns to give you an idea of what happens in between the, uh, the different generations. So let's go really quickly over the different elements available to us on the table. So there's some note cards here that when you check them and give your alt key, it'll tell you which ones are, you know, you're going to want to use for normal games, corporate games, etc. In the upper left, you've got your special tiles. In addition to having your special tiles, there's a really cool 3D version of all the tiles, all the cities, all the different special locations. So it's up to you which ones you want to use. If you prefer to use the 3D versions, that's available for you here. Or if you prefer to just use the uh, basic 2D tiles like the normal game, that's okay too. In addition, on your player board, you've got uh, the kind of tracker for the different generations and the uh, game flow in between two players. Then up here, you've got the different colors that are available as well as the 1, 5, and 10 tokens. So each player will have their different color as well as a pool of kind of uh, currency markers, if you will. So what's scripted and what isn't and what's done for you? Well, first things first, as always, go ahead and select your name in the upper right hand corner and then select the color that you'd like to sit at around the table. For this one, I'm going to choose yellow just because it's over on the left side. My table mate has chosen red. Now, in this particular version of uh, Terraforming Mars, we're going to go through just the scripting of the normal era. The corporate era works perfectly fine, so when you go through and do that, it'll work just as easy. So, when you're ready to begin, once all players have taken their seat, select the game that you're ready to play. We're going to do a normal one. So, I'm going to select normal. It's going to shuffle the right deck, pass out all the starting sections, select the first player, and then prompt you to choose what to do next. As you'll see here, choose a corporation and place it on the corp tile located here. So I and my table mate have been dealt out uh, the right number of starting cards in addition to two corporations. I'm going to, um, I guess, choose this corporation. So you, once you've selected your corporation, just drop it here onto the corp tile do nothing else with the other corp card. Hit setup. It's going to discard the remaining corporation from your hand. It's then going to set up your tableau in accordance to uh, the corporation you've chosen to keep. And now you're ready to choose or discard any of the other starting cards available in your hand. So go through, determine which ones that you want to keep and which ones you want to discard. Remember, any card you keep will cost three money. So I'm just going to go through and discard just randomly, um, you know, half my hand, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get rid of this one. Great. Now, once I've selected the cards to discard, I'm going to select keep hand. All players are going to do this unique to themselves. Keep hand, pay the 18 money. Yes. It's then going to take out the money and hand me back any sort of change that I'm owed. All players are going to do the same. Once all players have done their action, you're going to get a prompt that says all players are ready. Now you're ready to begin the game. And then you're going to start taking your turns. Right down here, 
the generation card is going to tell us exactly what we can do on that action phase. Well, we've just completed the research phase, which is to buy the cards. So in this action phase, we're going to take turns doing one or two actions of the following. Play a card, projects, etc. Please read through all the rules if you're not familiar with terraforming Mars. So on my turn, let's say I wanted to uh, purchase this carbonite processing. So I'm going to drag it out of my hand and then put it just kind of on the table next to me, say over here. Now this card cost six money to uh, purchase. You'll notice the game did not automatically do that for me in any capacity. There's no spots for me to put that card onto uh, to where it'll automatically do it. So this is something that you're going to have to do on your own. So just grab the money and drop it into their respective locations, fives and ones. And you know what, that's gonna be my turn. I'm just gonna do one action for this one. And then I'm gonna pass it over to my table mate. They're gonna choose and decide what they wanna do. And while they're going through, I just wanna take note of, you'll notice here, it has a counter to tell you respectively how much of each of these sections you have. So here I have 21 money. If I pull this off, well, now I only have 16. Over here on my table mate side, you'll see that they have 24, but they also have three trees ready to produce some oxygen, or three oxygen ready to produce some trees. So these counters will give you a quick reference to exactly how many are available in each of these sections. So my table mate is making their payment. Now another thing that we learned as we were playing, if you ever needed change, for example, I've got, let me just grab this, six of these. Well, you have to drop them into their respective color in order to then take any sort of change manually. So if that's something that you needed to do at any point in the game, just remember you can't just drop the money anywhere. They have to be put in their right places. So now let's say we've both passed and we're ready to start the next generation. So to begin that, oh, and that's the other thing. So my table mate, you'll see they're moving up their uh, markers and these do snap into place. So keep that in mind because you'll notice that it's gonna pay out when I click this end of generation. So once all players have passed, you're ready to move on to the next one. Select end of generation. I'm gonna zoom out and show you what's gonna happen. It's gonna pay out in accordance to the trackers, it's going to pass the first player marker. Then it's going to deal out your next four cards to choose to buy. So same as before, you're, the ones you want to discard, put them face down here, select keep hand, make your payment, and then your hand will get combined. And then you're ready to begin once all players have chosen what cards they want to keep you're ready to then um, begin play. All players are gonna continue and take their turns um, in accordance to the rules. And then once all players have passed again, you're gonna select end generation. And then you'll notice payouts and distributions are gonna happen. Now the one thing that you guys might have noticed, this generation marker did not manually go up. So you will have to move that on your own as well as any of the victory point tracks up here that you might need to take. So keep that in mind as you play through. Hey guys, there's gonna be probably some weird editing in this particular video, so I'm just gonna call myself out on it right now. But I wanted to make sure that you guys had an idea of the different tiles up here while going through play. So let's say on your turn, you uh, purchased um, some trees. You could again use the tiles from up here at the top and they are two-sided like in the normal game place them wherever you'd like and then make sure that you uh, take the type of currency and put it wherever it belongs in accordance to where you've placed the tile as well as placing your marker onto the board or if you prefer you can use these really cool 3d tiles drop it out like that again you know, taking manually anything that you need to do, and then dropping your placement on the table like so. So these tiles are, are really, uh, really neat, really well done. You know, uh, I like to use the 3D versions of these uh, because they just kind of add a little bit of flair to it, if you will. 
So uh, keep that in mind when you're going through the game that you have options. If you want to use the flat tiles or the 3D tiles, uh, totally up to you, totally your call. Uh, but all these uh, areas do snap into place um, as needed. So that's uh, very cool. So uh, that's my hard edit, which I'm going to try to get in here before I close out the video. So um, thanks again, guys. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this version of Terraforming Mars on Tabletop Simulator. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. I'm happy to answer them for you. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, appreciate the support. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Um, and as always, guys, until next time, thanks so much for watching.